we go. Oh, fuck you! Something's in my ass. Hey guys, Peace here with another video today. No, this is not some horror film that you're about to watch. It's just really dark down here. What I'm referring to is I'm finally getting around to doing the room tour video. In a way that there's a small catch. So this is going to specifically be about all the things that were either handed down to me or otherwise just I trash picked it. So a couple of rules before I start. One, I am not going to be spending a lot of time on the entire room. I'm only focusing on the bigger picture of things, and it's primarily focusing on the big stuff that I trash picked or got handed down to, as well as the room tour itself. I hear all of you asking ahead of time. No, I'm not answering comments about how messy the room is, no matter who you are, <laughs> because I have been trying to get around to doing that for quite some time now. Now, I will say again, I'm making this very clear. Oh, by the way, my cat bear is here. Hello. The only one. <laughs> this video's primary focus is handed down and trash pick stuff. So don't be surprised if I pass some things very quickly. Right? And without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so coming down here, here, let's just open this door right here. So, I'm going to make it very clear, apologies again for the mess, but I'm going to toggle this as I go, so it's not like completely, but I do have the light on for a little bit that I have, so, of course, as y'all know, here's the primary battle station over here, don't worry, this is something I gotta read later, don't worry about that, I have plenty of room over here, a little coffee maker over here for if I ever need it, Got my microwave right there, I got my toaster right there. Obviously, the desk itself is going to be a bit of a mess, hence one of many reasons why I said don't worry about it. As you can see, all of my stuff is RGB, not just because I want to look fancy, because, like, it's... I can swear to God, it's an ADHD person's best friend. <laughs> Let's hand it down the trash pick over here. The chair. Really, 90% of the chair itself. Don't mind this stuff up top. So it is an actual gaming chair. G-Pricing. This was like... Okay, so I think the reason it got thrown out... Which is that? Not, may look bad to some people, but I've dealt with stuff like that before. Another trash peg thing I had was... Good eight things, Holman. Like, now. high school cushions. Hello, yeah. These high school chairs that have long since been disposed of, but I figured I could still use the cushions. So right off the bat over here, I mentioned the coffee maker. Well, here's the coffee. My filters are right here, and the shipper is right here. Now, whenever I want to use the coffee maker, I'll simply just temporarily clear off the space, and use it there. Something that was handed down from the old apartment. Oh God, I'm sitting in a way to... From the old apartment, there was this ladder app, right? It was for the family, but now it's just kind of like more so for me because it is the basement and I have deep signal down here. <laughs> Move, Jasper. No test me, my pie. So coming up, going past the desk area, going through, 
we actually have quite a bit more that's handed down slash trash pick. So right off the bat, we have two shelves that have been trash picked. And ever since, they make very nice use as part of the pantry. Another thing that got trash picked was this little stool. Mainly just another family member of my household will sit on it. Maybe while they're picking. Maybe what things to use for the day. What have you. So, once again, here's my little, um, going to work sort of area. So it's only a mess right now because I never got around to cleaning it up from when I cleaned out my bag for like the third time. So <laughs> right off the bat, this mirror, you might as well say was technically handed down because it was my parents' mirror before, you know, we moved into the house and I think they just inevitably gave up on it for a little bit. Or at least for like time being a forever, what have you. So the primary mess you're seeing over here is stuff I've been needing to put on sale. At the line, well, except for the wheel. Except for the wheel, everything over here I've been needing to sell. So I'm trying to go on eBay or Macarter or let go or one of those sites. I'm gonna try and crack down and go on one of those and really start. I said not to speak, but it's me out. And really start to sell all of that. So here we have the a little sneak peek for anybody that hasn't seen my TikToks yet. A little sneak peek of all of the things I have going on over here. So those two chairs were hand-me-downs, technically, because I believe they were from our old set. That chair was trash picked, actually from next door before they moved out. It, I just have to say, it was a really good find. This cushion is really comfy. I just wish it didn't move so much, but it looks like one of those like 70s S chairs. So, you all should know how I feel about my vintage stuff, so I love it. Yep, there's Jasper modeling it. <laughs> Finally, he notices me! So, getting down on twos here, that stool, well, that stool, and this stool are both trash pits. Right, down up the street, you know, couldn't, I couldn't resist. I had to get them. The we, it's technically, I want to say it's technically handed down because it's still the family's, but because I was entrusted with it to have it down here, I am trying to make a sort of family gaming era. Yeah, tell me how old that story so far. Honestly, without all that little bit of trash there, it might be fine. <laughs> it might be fine. So further, actually further into the area, we have, once again, sorry, it's dark over here. We have an old Spider-Man plug and play, which a lot of people say is, where's the spider though? <laughs> we have a wheel of fortune over here. Both of these once again, the same story as the Wii, are technically handed down. Of course, honestly, that Spider-Man was originally mine. It just so happened that it was more so the family. So over here is where things get interesting. I gotta keep my night vision mode on because it's not cooperating so well. So, further ado, this is the fitness slash weight area mode. Fitness slash weight area. Oh my god. So my sort of quote unquote fitness area. Up here we have my gloves and bandana and such like that temporarily. So I can once again think of a place to put it. There is honestly these pull cues are just kind of in the way right now. They're not like handed down or anything. Well, technically one of them is, but I'll actually you So this is the pull cue that I think was my grandfather's. It's a wolf one. 
I will always hold this one with pride and joy. Because you know me and how I love my wolves. <laughs> and speaking of wolves, in fact, I don't even need to. There we go. Speaking of wolves, here's a nice little painting right here of the very beautiful creatures I speak of. My idea here is that I can sort of tread on this and think like I'm walking with the wolves. And then over here, most, if not all of the following, is what I call not exactly hinted down, but not trashed it either. So all of these weights were handed down from someone I was doing work for to clear out their house and all of that. So I thought that was pretty nice. Then we have the step ladder, which technically was handed down. It belongs to the family, but they never ever have a need for it. This beauty right here, the shelf, trash pit. Trash pit. And it is one of the better things that have ever had trash pit. Honestly. This Star Wars VHS set handed down from my grandfather. And look how beautiful it is. I intend to keep it in that good of condition forever. I did forget to mention these tables. I do have one other one over in my desk area. I forgot to mention about, so apologies about that. That little like Hot Wheels play set that never actually gets used was also trash bag. Alright, it wasn't trash bag. It was handed down. Fun fact, this little kitty table here was never trash picked or handed down. It was actually, I've had that since I was a kid. It's like been in this family ever since. Isn't that crazy? Since I was eight years old, guys. So over here we have my very cluttered sort of like meal prep area, as I like to call it. Just slash like snack holder zone. This table was actually not trash picked, but it was kind of like, you might as well say it was handed down from the original people that lived here because it was over in a spot just beyond this wall. I'm not going to show anything because the family does not approve of that, so we're going to leave that be. So coming into my main room here, first of all, I really love what I did. Oh, we're doing no privacy for now. Right off the bat, this dresser was handed down. And I do have to say, once again, don't regret it. I love it. Use it every day. Pretty much everything in here, except for that shelf over there, was pretty much bought. Or you have little things that was gotten from as presents or handed down in like random ways or what have you. But that shelf was trash pit. And I don't regret it. There's a wolf that's hiding in there. Once again, you don't know how much I love wolves. That, I can guarantee you, was my grandmother on my mom's side. God rest her soul. That is amazing. Oh yeah, trash pit. There was this shelf here that now houses my Yugo stuff, some of my Nerf stuff, and, and a template organization for my cords. <laughs> Which, it is it is working, I'm going to be honest. So, this basket is actually handed me down. I did have one in here before that was also handed me down. Pretty cool stuff. There you go. This thing was handed me down from my parents. This chair was actually technically handed down from a co-worker. They said their son never used it. And ever since I got it, and I've actually found a place to put it, ergo clearing this floor for it, I haven't stopped using it since. I love this little gaming corner I have going on. I have my snacks behind me, a little rest for my controller, I can put my drinker, what have you, near my controller. 
I don't have to worry about my controller not charging right because I'm right next to it. I can rock in that sucker. It's a cozy little space for a big guy like me. I can stretch my legs out here. Yeah, there's my Nerf gun as well. And of course, once again, not exactly sticking with the video theme, but I really wanted to show it off. My mess, my mess, my Hess cargo plane. This sucker was given to me one Christmas. I love looking at the sucker. I do hate how it's collecting dust, however. But, you know, some some great things will we'll just collect the dust, inevitably. Which is why I try not to get a lot of nice things. Oh, and that was given to me one Christmas by a color. I try not to use it, even though it says it's an indoor helicopter. It's... It's scary. <laughs> Too scary. Too scary. <laughs> You can only see it with the night vision mode, but this table, this this little table here, I could use it for so many things, but I use it as like a corner spot, and my cats like to go in there when they want a tower or whatever, I let them, but it was trash bin, and I put like a cardboard piece on top to stabilize it, because the top part of it has its glass broken plus missing, so that's something right there. My guitar over there, funny enough, was not handed down a trash bin. But you can technically say it was handed down because I got it from a thrift store for actually a really good price. And considering how good it sounds and good with condition it's in, I figure that's a steal. That sign was handed down from my grandfather. God rest his soul, this man drank beers, drank Budweiser's like it was water. And this was, this was handed me down to also from my grandfather. Man was a trucker at heart and rubber trucker. I of course have my own personal touch with a little muscle car there. Why not? <laughs> One last pan at the room. Because I'm starting to get worried about my battery life now. I am very, very proud of this room, how it's coming out. I'm trying my best to do so much work to it to allocate space and everything else to it, but between my busy, my busy schedule and my work life. Yeah, that sign wasn't handed me down, but I know my grandfather did buy it. So, once again, God bless us. Alright, that that TV thing was I I don't think it was trash pick, but I think my grandmother thought it had her work once. And of course you have the rest of the room hanging around here. There's the character a lot of you are familiar with. And Blake is on the other side of him. Also, one more thing to point out before I go. That little case there, no, that one, that little case there. That was technically trash picked and handed down. And our neighbors across the street who have been so fucking good to us. We've been trying to think of any kind of way to give their data. They've been so good to us. Also, addressing the red elephant in the room, my weed whacker and blower. Once my stepfather got a better set, he did those to me. And I have the better on here somewhere. <laughs> I forgot where I put that shit. Fuck yeah. Anyway, guys. That is going to be it for this little tour. I'm sorry I didn't get too into detail about a lot of things. I was one worried about my battery life and two worried about the amount of editing I had to do. Oh, I did forget to mention that the desk that you saw, my little workstation, that's probably one of my favorite things I got handed down to from my grandfather. This sucker has been essentially growing with me. He, he, I keep hearing he almost killed himself to try to build this desk, so the fact that I use it and appreciate it and love it as much as I do to this day almost brings a tear to my eye because I feel like I'm doing him justice, I'm doing him right. Because I know he would have been happy about that. But yeah, also that's me for this time, guys. Please be sure to leave a like on this video. Do it. 
also be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to comment down below if you want your favorite part of this video was. And also, I will take suggestions. Comment down below what you think I might be able to do with this room for maybe a little price. <laughs> I will look into options because, I mean, as you've seen, I have literally gotten to the point where I use shower curtains to block all my room from as like a divider so as you've seen i can get pretty creative with stuff so just yeah comment down below what you'd like to see me do to this room even as much of a temporary measure i i'm not kidding i'd really like to hear it as for the messiness don't talk to me about it unless you're going to tell me to do like a cleanup stream or something that might actually encourage me to start cleaning up more <laughs> So anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, and as always, I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys, see you there. Bye!